Well, on the pandemic front, COVID travel requirements changed today for the international passengers. Now, this brings the last remaining government issue COVID mandate to an end. ABC's Ty Hernandez has more. As of today, international travelers will no longer need to show proof of a negative COVID test to enter the U.S. It's welcome news for the travel industry as the summer vacation season gears up. A lot of people didn't want to travel internationally because of the testing requirement. This provides them with peace of mind so that they know when they're traveling they can make it home. I'm thankful that we are relaxing that. Uh, I'm vaccinated. I felt good. Well, it wouldn't be my preference. I would prefer to have testing still. The CDC says the requirement is no longer necessary thanks to vaccines and treatments. But still, more than 53 million eligible Americans remain unvaccinated. Young children are still not able to get vaccinated, but that could soon change. This week, the FDA and CDC are set to review data from Moderna and Pfizer on their vaccines for children under five. If they sign off this week, vaccinations could start soon after. Realistically, it means we could see shots in arms of kids under five as early as the week of June 20th. Good news for parents anxious to get their children vaccinated. As new data reveals, more than two-thirds of Americans live in a county with a high or medium COVID risk level. The country is currently seeing an average of 110,000 new cases a day. Health officials caution the actual number of cases could be higher. Many people testing at home and not reporting the results. We will see surges this summer, and I'm especially concerned about places that have lower vaccine uptake. A recent surge in the Northeast is beginning to ease, but Florida, Arizona, and California are now seeing a rise in the number of cases. Ty Hernandez, ABC News, New York.